This is an overview of an article entitled Loss of Function ABCC8 Mutations in Pulmonary Arterial Hypertension, published in the October 2018 issue of Circulation, Genomic, and Precision Medicine. Pulmonary arterial hypertension, or PAH, is a rare and often fatal disease characterized by distinctive changes in pulmonary arterioles that lead to elevated pulmonary artery pressure and right-sided heart failure. Novel treatment options have decreased mortality, but PAH remains a frequently fatal illness. Genetics are recognized to play an important role in the pathogenesis of PAH in patients with and without a family history of disease. Most genetic studies of the disease have been performed in patients with adult onset disease, with few genetic studies of individuals with childhood onset PAH. Exome sequencing has previously been used to identify mutations in the KCNK3 potassium channel as a genetic cause of idiopathic and familial PAH. The authors of the paper under discussion identified a de novo missense variant, R958H, in ATP binding cassette subfamily C member 8, or ABCC8, in a patient diagnosed with idiopathic PAH at the age of 10. This prompted them to assess 232 patients in the CUPAH cohort who had undergone exome sequencing for variants in ABCC8 and they identified seven additional rare damaging missense variants. To replicate these findings, they then assessed 680 patients in the UK PAH cohort who had undergone whole genome sequencing for ABCC8 variants. They identified three additional rare or novel missense variants and one splice variant. They confirmed that there was a significant excess of rare predicted deleterious missense variants in ABCC8 in the patients compared to control groups of European ancestry. The authors then undertook functional studies, namely whole cell patch clamp electrophysiology and rubidium flux assays. Alignment of the ABCC8 sequence revealed that all identified missense variants occur at amino acid residues conserved across species and in critical domains in the protein product, sulfonylurea receptor 1 or SUR1, as shown here. The authors examined the consequence of eight of the 12 identified ABCC8 variants putatively associated with PAH on SUR1 function with patch clamp electrophysiology providing a direct measurement of whole cell KATP conductance in individual cells across different membrane potentials, as shown here. They observed significantly reduced SUR1 dependent currents with six of the eight SUR1 mutants and non-significant reductions with the other two mutants. Next, the authors used rubidium flux assays to provide quantification of channel activity using 86 rubidium plus efflux as a measure of macroscopic KATP conductance from a population of intact cells. In the various permutations of the experiments shown here, all but one of the mutants showed reduced channel activity. Of note, the one outlier had shown reduced KATP conductance in the patch clamp experiments shown on the last slide. Thus, when combining results from the patch clamp and rubidium flux functional assays, there was a significant decrease in basal and or maximal channel activity for all SUR1 mutants associated with PAH that were functionally tested. SUR1 and KATP loss of function could result from various mechanisms but any channel activity present might be augmented by selective potassium channel opening drugs, such as diazoxide. Consistent with this suggestion, all mutants tested were pharmacologically activated by diazoxide in rubidium efflux, as shown in the top panels, and whole cell patch clamp, as shown in the bottom panels. In other words, all mutants showed pharmacological recovery of function. Please refer to the online version of the paper 
for more details. In conclusion, the authors found novel and rare missense variants in ABCC8 to be associated with PAH. The identified ABCC8 variants decreased KATP channel function, which was pharmacologically recovered with diazoxide. These findings establish a potential second potassium channelopathy in PAH, following the previously reported KCNK3 potassium channelopathy, and point to ABCC8 as a possible therapeutic target.